Earlier this week, victims of crime in Georgia can meet with the State Board of Pardons and Paroles to discuss the status, the parole status that is, of offenders who caused them to become victims. It's known as Victims Visitors Day, and Board Chairman Terry Bernard joins me to talk more about it, and we're so appreciative of you guys coming on, talking about everything. What exactly is Victims Visitors Day? Well, Taylor, it's a very powerful opportunity for victims of crime to come and meet one-on-one -on -one with one of five members that actually are making decisions on parole, the board members themselves. We go into the communities and meet directly with them so that they can discuss their issues and concerns with the board so that we can make a case file for them. Now, a little bit of history behind this day. This is actually something that you guys have been doing for years. Yeah, we, we have actually since 2006. Well, I think we've already gone into some 14. This will now be 15 communities. Over 2,400 victims have come and met with the board members and, and made their issues known to us. And actually, uh, Representative Patty Bentley, District 139, who's the representative for that district, she invited you guys to come out to this community. She, she is, and actually this is the first of that opportunity. Usually this is the district attorney's office that invite us, but Representative Bentley wanted this in her community so she actually contacted the board and said will you do this for us and it's growing now I understand over 135 victims have already registered to come meet with us at Fort Valley on Thursday already what's the opportunity of a day like this, this is actually happening um, on the 30th um, which is coming up and what's the opportunity and the the exposure that you want to give victims? What comes from this? Well, we want to make sure that victims understand that they can register with us first. Obviously, since the early 90s, it was became statute, and many victims don't know that. But they can register with us so they can get information about the offender. They can determine where they're, where he's at in prison, what the status of parole might be, and if the possibility of parole might even come for those who are eligible. I can imagine this brings some kind of closure, some kind of reassurance to families and victims. Well, it does. It gives them the peace of mind of knowing that the board themselves know. They have the victim impact statements in their, in their files, but sometimes victims wonder if we really see that. Well, we do, but coming and meeting with us personally, they know with assurance that we know how they feel. And this is completely confidential when you guys get together with these victims and going out to the community, right? No, that's very, very much. It's very confidential in a private setting, one-on-one. -on -one. No one knows the information except for the board member and the victim and what's left in the file. All right, so this, is, this will be at uh, Fort Valley. At, at Fort Valley on Thursday at 10 a.m. All right. At uh, the Pettigrew Center. Okay, anything else that you'd like to say about this day? I mean. People would love to just kind of get some information about their victims, and this is the way to do it. Yeah, this is, this is what you should do. If you are a victim and you haven't actually registered at this point or called, then we, t we accept walk-ins. Come see us, and we'll be there all day long until the last victim is heard from. It's very important to the board that we hear from them. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And crime victims are asked to RSVP with the Georgia Office of Victim Services. And you can do that by calling 1-800-593-9473. The deadline to make that call is tomorrow, July 28th. And stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank you so much again.